Yesterday we were left stranded because the car didn't want to, or the Jeep didn't want to start. And nothing happened. No lights, no warning, <clears throat> no nothing. And what do you think it was? Most of you Jeep owners already know. It was the battery, of course. This beautiful battery. Well, not this one. The auxiliary battery. As you can see, we went to the dealer today. And they recharged both batteries and said, everything's good to go. But to me, it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and do what everybody else is doing. Disconnect the fuse. Pull out the 42 fuse and the battery, the cable from the auxiliary battery, and that'll eliminate the auxiliary battery. Period. Just give me a second, and I'll show you how we're supposed to do that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove the fuse, which is the F52, or is it? Uh, 52 37 52 if you can hear it says PCR control feed for ESS and the ESS is the electronics start stop so we're going to pull that fuse out but I want to see something I noticed that it has a star after what does the star indicate on here it says if equipped so, F42, let's look on here, the F42, uh, let's see where it's at, let's see, and just to make sure the F42 is 10 fuse right here, because that's according to the chart here, if you look at the F42 right here, so I'm going to go ahead and take this out, fuse remover. I remove fuse number 10. And there's fuse number 10, which is the one that we removed. Now we got to do the battery. So I just want to go back and check. You want to save this maybe in the glove box in case you got to put it back in or you go to the dealership anytime soon. Next thing we're going to do is we got to remove the post battery, which is this one. Just tape it up here, and that's it. You're done. Let's put this little sucker back in here. Put the fuse over here, and let's check out the battery post. All right, you're gonna get a half-inch socket, and go up here, start taking this off. Once you remove it completely, make sure you don't lose the nut. Once you remove it completely, you can take this off, Bend it up, zip tie it, and put tape on it, and put it right up here, and that should be it. I'm going to go ahead and start doing this and show you the end result. Alright, so it wasn't this one here, the one that was here, because the Jeep doesn't do anything. I'll go ahead and show you. It must be the other cable. Because you don't get anything out of the, out of the Jeep. So I'm hitting the button, nothing. No power at all. I'm going to go ahead and connect it back and disconnect the other one, which that one should be the one for the lead then. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll put this one back on and disconnect that one. All right, the bolt was a 10 millimeter. Just took it right out. I'm going to take this out. I'm wondering if I could fit this one on there, but I'm not sure being that it's bigger. Let me see. All right, what I did, I went ahead and connected here, super tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up and tape it up here. This should be it because the other way it didn't work. Let's go in here and see if uh, we get power now. All right, you can see the dash light is on. It should work now, let's see. Alright, let me 
this is a uh, light sign that it's off, so maybe I don't have to shut it off all the time. It's saying it's off. Okay, that's a good sign. I shut it off. And let's try it again. Turn it back on. Oh, All right. Yep. It turns on by itself, so maybe showing that it's off, which would be a good thing for us. Let me check the battery on here. Start messages, start stop. That was on two, wasn't it? I'm trying to save voltage, battery voltage. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up front. We'll go for a spin and see what's going on. Alright, so I came back inside, started it back up, and back on automatic. So, let me know, or is that on? No, I don't even know. Or is that off? Oh, so it's on when you want to make, come on. Yeah, I'm half as dumb, so. All right, so it's off. So I guess when you start the car, it automatically comes on. Just not. Well, if it does, I have the taser anyway. And the taser will be able to take care of that. If I take the traction off, I mean the lights on. So the lights on here, and this traction is. Oh. Let me switch it over here so I can see better. Ah, uh, where's that? No stored messages, radio, store stop. So it's off. Star stop is off. Okay, so here we go, my dumbass again. So if the light is on, that means it's off. And that's where you want to have it. You always want to have it with the light on. So let's try it again. And I think that's what happens anyway. Start it up. The light should come on by itself. Does it? Yep, it does. So you want to make sure the light is on, because that way your battery is not working. And you don't have to worry about it draining. So, you take it for a ride, no lights, no nothing. And if you want to know how's it going as time goes by, just write to me and I will let you know if anything has changed. But everything is good to go. And if you're also interested in that, one of my other channels, I have. Uh, installation and what exactly it does so thank you for watching keep you posted like share and subscribe